Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of place value, specifically how we can use place value clues to figure out mystery numbers, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So I have a series of three clues on the screen here, and this actually has more than one possible answer. So let's look at our clues. The digit four has a value of, and they're gonna give it to us in expanded notation. And so let's take a look at our place value. We see that something goes to the tenths place. We have one that goes to the hundredths place, and one that goes to the ten thousands place. So let's build a place value chart. And my largest place is gonna be my ten thousand. So I'm gonna go all the way to the ten thousands. If you're wondering how far that is, just count how many spaces I've got. One, two, three, four, five. So I've got five spaces here. I need a decimal. My smallest is going to be to the tenths place. Now, I guess I could have numbers that go larger or smaller than that if I want to, but let's start with this. And let's write our place values right here. So that's in the tenths place, that's one, that's ten, hundred. Thousand. Here's my 10,000. So what do I know here? I know that this number is going to have a 4, and it's going to have a value of 4 times 1 tenth. So let's put a 4 right there in the 10th spot, because that's what it's telling us to put a 4 in the 10th spot. It's also telling us that the digit 5 is a value of 5 times 100, so that means there's a 5 in the 100th spot. And then it's got a value of 8 times 8 times 10,000. So that's all we have, it's blank. So let me show you a few different examples, okay? So I'm just gonna put a few different numbers in here. Let's just say we fill the rest of these blanks with ones. So what number would that be? Well, we could write 81,511 and 4 tenths. This is a possible answer because look, it has a value of four times 1 tenth, has a value of 5 times 100, has a value of 8 times 10,000. If you want, you could also put some different numbers in there. And you can say 82,590 and 4 tenths. Hopefully you're seeing the numbers that are locked in are the 4 in the tenths place, the 5 in the hundredths place, and the 8 in the 10,000s. Now, I did say we can go a little bit bigger and a little bit smaller. And so this is our hundred thousands place. Smallest we go in fourth grade is the hundredths place. What if I put a seven right here, a two, a nine, a four, and a three? Take a look at that big number. 782,594 and 43 hundredths. Does it still meet? our three clues. Four in the tenths place, yes. Five in the hundredths, yes. Eight in the ten thousands, yes. So all of those numbers can work. So this one's a little trickier because they don't give us the expanded notation. They give us just the value in like an expanded form. So we need to build our place value, but it's gonna be a little bit smaller. Look, I've got an 800. Looks like it's the largest right there. And it looks like I'm going to the hundredths place. So let's still put our values underneath. So I've got my tenths, I've got my hundredths, one, ten, one hundred. So what do I know for sure? There's a four, has a value of four hundredths, right? So I need to put this right here because this is going to end up being four times the place value, one hundredth. So I've got 5, and it's a value of 50. How do I make 50? Well, that's 5 times its place value location. It's going to be the ten, tens place. So we can put a 5 right there. And then 8. Most of us get that. Okay, that's 8 times 100. So that's an 8 in the 100 spot. So that's what's locked in. So really, I only have two blanks. And you can fill those in with, you know, 3s if you want to. And you can say 853 and 34 hundredths. What you're just looking for, does that 4 have a value of 4 hundredths? Yes. Does that 5 have a value of 50? Yes. Does that 8 have a value of 800? Yes.